Hi, my name is Ashley and welcome to my channel. Have you been praying for God to release you from your job and nothing seems to be happening? Have you spent your time applying to multiple jobs, asking for God to open a door for you and none of them seem to open up? Well, if that's you, this is the video for you. I'm going to be talking about why God hasn't released you from your job. As always, we're going to start the video off in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come before you so humbled by your love, your grace, and your mercy. Father God, right now, I just laid down my mouth and I submit it to you, Lord God. I pray that as I speak, that it'll be none of me and all of you, Father God. I pray I pray that your truth will reign true to your children and what you placed on my heart to speak will come out, Father God, that the person, the one that you're wanting to reach and speak to will hear this message and it'll bring revelation and clarity to them, Father God. These that are planted throughout this video, Father God, will not be taken away from the enemy, Father God. Your word will sow a good seed and that this person who is watching this video will reap a harvest, Father God. I put the blood of Jesus over them and I ask this all in Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. So let's get started. About four years ago, I got, I won't say saved because I grew up in church, but I rededicated my life to Christ. And before that, y'all, I was a hot mess. I worked my first ever call center job and it was horrible. I had started messing with this guy at work and he was fooling with all these different girls and I would come into work and people would talk about me like a dog. I was going off on customers. They would call corporate on me. Like it was nothing but the grace of God that I did not lose my job. Now, before rededicating my life to Christ, I was like, I gotta go. I was getting ready to start my last semester and I was just like, you know what? I need to be looking for something in events anyway, since my degree is going to be in hospitality management. And I'm going to start putting my application. I think in about a week, I applied to 90 jobs. Nothing. I wasn't hearing anything back. And I was getting so frustrated. Around this time, I went to church, experienced God for myself. He became my God. Not my grandma's God, not my mom's God my God, and I gave my life to him and I surrendered my life over to him as an adult and made that decision for myself. So I was thinking going back to work, like, oh, everything is about to be turned around. I done gave my life to Christ. This is about to be worked out and, you know, things will be better. When I tell y'all, all hell broke loose. I remember the first time I walked back into my job after just that experience at church i could feel the demonic spirits i felt so much misery complacency anger resentment messiness like it was like the devil's playpen i remember i would before i would even touch the door to open up the front door to the building or the back door i would pray before i would even touch the door and walk in and i would say lord don't let any of these spirits that are in here get on me and it really had showed me how far I had fallen because once I had invited the Holy Spirit to dwell within me, my spirit was unsettled. Like I would just be so anxious at work before I wanted to leave because of like all the drama and things like that. But after I rededicated my life to Christ, y'all, I would be in my seat and be like, I just feel so out of place. And it just scared me how much at one point I felt like this was where I was at, like I was popping. And I was just like, wow, I was really far gone. I would Google Bible scriptures and just read scriptures throughout my shift to help me make it through the day. I started bringing my Bible to work and I kept applying for jobs and I would pray and pray and ask God, please, please get me out of here. I do not want to be here anymore. So as I was praying, applying for jobs, y'all, I just kept hearing not yet, not yet. And during this time, God would like have me go up to people at work and have them say like, oh, you're praying about this and this is what God wants to say to you and just don't give up, he hears you. 
And some of these people were not nice to me. Some of these people were the people that were mean to me. And I would feel so uncomfortable. There were just so many different circumstances that had happened at that job. Um, I had a customer ask me to pray for her, which was so crazy. And I did. And the manager like flipped out on me. And I was just like, God, you keep telling me to do these things. I just want to be out of here. I just, I just want to leave. And so fast forward a whole month, the corporate company, because we were a call center, um, the corporate office had like announced that they were going to be coming down and they were, we were going to have this whole big meeting. And everyone was so excited. Every time they had ever came before, they would be announcing that we would get a, a bonus or all these great changes and so everyone was like oh we're about to get another bonus oh we're gonna have a party it's about to be great and i remember like as the weeks went by and it was leading up to the corporate people coming i started to honestly not even worry about like why god wasn't allowing me to get all these jobs i was applying for i started to just really feel like okay i'm uncomfortable but you're working something out through me. There's something that you're doing because you're having me mend broken fences or bro you're having me mend burn bridges. You are just having me stay in this place where I really, really need to seek you. And I'm dying to myself because sometimes I would really wanna go off on them customers. Sometimes I would really wanna check some of the people that work there. Y'all, my mouth used to be sick. I was sick with it and I was proud of it. and I had to die to myself. And so the day that the corporate people were there, there was like the training room and it was glass and we could see all of them in there. I walked past the training room and everybody was just talking like all of my coworkers. They're like, oh, we're about to get a raise. It's about to be on and popping. And the Lord just whispered to my spirit, y'all are about to be laid off. And I remember walking back to my desk and I was just like, okay, like I'm about to actually lose this job. Like me being a type A planner, I'm like, what am I about to do about my bills? Like, okay, okay, like I'm just, I'm just going to not say anything out loud, but I was internally freaking out and processing. And so they came and they gathered everyone and it was about 300 people. People had came up there on their days off and they announced that in a month we would all be laid off, that they were closing the site down and that the office in Frisco would no longer be open anymore. And I remember just looking around and people were busting out crying. People were so upset. And in that moment, because God had already revealed it to me, I was being a light i was like y'all jeremiah 29 11 god has plans for us to give us a hope in a future to never harm us like don't trip don't trip even some of the same girls who was talking about me crazy and had an attitude and even the manager that flipped out on me for praying she was so devastated and i was comforting her and so in that moment i was really able to see like god this is why you kept me here and at the end of their speech and after everyone was like going around and saying how they felt they let us know that we wouldn't receive like a severance but what they would do is that they would give us a letter so that way we would automatically be approved for unemployment and i was just like at first i was unsettled because i didn't want to receive unemployment i worked my grandparents and my mom taught me to work hard and but i went to my car and god was just telling me that my time at this job was done and that I needed to stay until the end and that I would take off for a month, focus on my classes. That way, by the time the fall, I would end the fall semester without working. And by the time the spring semester would open up, I would have an event planning internship or job so I could finish my program and that I could really get on track because I really struggled before with math and I was getting ready to prepare for my math class. Because I was taking accelerated classes, it would be like half of the semester. And so the month that he wanted me to not be working, I was going to be focusing on that math class that I had already signed up for. And so everything was kind of just aligning and it was 
so 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 crazy so long story short people who have been at that job for years who could have been went and found other jobs that were so complacent they started leaving before the last day and even on the last day i remember like walking around and saying my goodbyes to my old team leader who was one of the best bosses that i've ever had and i walked out and when i drove off i looked in my rear view mirror at that job and i knew i was never going back and i just cried and honestly in that season God revealed so much to me, much so that I found myself in other jobs after that, in the same place of wanting to leave the job or find something where I felt like was my big P purpose and what God had for me. And I would go back to that season working at that call center and all that God had walked me through and it revealed so much to me. And so I'm gonna break it down a little bit for you guys. I know that was a lot. Through that experience, God revealed to me the reasons why throughout different seasons, I wasn't being released from a job. And so one of the first reasons is that I he had called me to that job for a specific purpose and reason. Yes, it may not have been my main purpose that he created me for, but I was called to that job, to that workplace, to serve a purpose for his will. Sometimes we know when we first get a job, we'll go from praying and fasting and thanking God for the job to hating the job, not, find, not having any feelings of fulfillment and wanting to leave. But, but let me ask you, from the moment the job has been released to you, have you even asked God why he allowed you to get the job? What has he called you to accomplish at the job? And what is your purpose there? There may be someone, even one person at that job that you are called to do life with, to disciple or minister, to even speak a word. From the moment that you walk into that job, have you even asked God, open my spiritual eyes, show me why I'm here. If I'm here for one person, highlight that one person and make my make my path cross their path bring it into fruition if god has revealed the reason and the purpose that you were on that job have you even started working towards it or have you got so caught up in the hustle and bustle or the mess and the politics and just trying to do your job that you haven't even started on the purpose that he has for you or the assignment that he has for you at that job. Now it's to the point where you don't like the job and you wanna leave, but God hasn't taken his hand off of that place because maybe there's someone that he's called you to or something he wants to pull out of you for your bigger purpose that you haven't even started working on yet. And so you have to ask God, why am I here? What is my purpose? What is my assignment? And then immediately start walking it out. Your purpose at the job is way more than just doing your job and collecting a check. We are disciples of Christ. We are children of God. And then when he calls us to a place, it is for a very specific reason. God is in the details. He is very intentional and so faithful. And so the last thing that I want to say as to why God may not be releasing you from the job is that, yeah, you asked him what is the purpose and what is the reason there. Yes, you've started walking it out, but have you completed it? And have you even asked God that your time at this job is up? Yeah, you may feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it may be some things going on that's not the best circumstances. But let me remind you, David was faithful to Saul. He was not the best Bob. David was faithful and went from playing his instrument and casting out the demons on Saul and Saul asking David's father, can you come, can your son come into my house and can he stay here and play and minister to me to Saul hunting David, chasing him into the wilderness and trying to kill him. But that was all to serve the purpose and the anointing on David's life. God used him to slay Goliath. God used him to minister to Saul and help bring a level of deliverance to him. And then God pulled something out of David when he had him on the run and he had to depend on him. And he never spoke a ill word about Saul. He never, he could have killed Saul and he didn't do it. He honored him. How are we honoring our bosses? How are we honoring our job? What are we speaking? What if your boss that you can't stand is the person that God wants to use you to minister the most to? What if we begin to pray? God, let me see these coworkers in here the way that you see them, Father God. 
Let me have your heart for them. We are called to change atmospheres. We shouldn't walk into atmospheres and they affect us. No, greater is he that is in me than he that is within the world. Whatever spirits are up in this place, they're going to bow down to the spirit that is within me because the Holy Spirit and God's spirit is the strongest spirit. I'm just going to end the video like this. I just hope that God has revealed maybe a reason or the reasons why he hasn't released you from the job that you feel so miserable in or, or the job that you once went from praying and fasting for it to now you hate even walking through the door. What if the enemy is trying to push you out of position? What if he's trying to stop you from accomplishing and bearing the fruit that God is trying to help you bear? Finish your season well. And so I just pray that this video blesses you. If you have not already, like, share, and subscribe to our Becoming fam. We are a group of becomers. We are chasing after Jesus to become who we were destined to be. It's not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be comfortable, but we're going to do it afraid, uncomfortable, trembling, because at the end of our life, we don't want to look back and say, I regret not doing all these things and living a small life. And I never became who God destined me to be. I did not accomplish what God set out for me to do. I want to leave this. I want to leave and go to heaven on E. I want to be drained of every ounce of purpose and destiny and everything that God created and put in me for me to fulfill within the land. And I want that for you too. So girl, go ahead and join us on this journey. We would love to have you here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.